Hey, welcome back to the Streaming Masterclass. This is episode number... Four. Episode number four. It's good to have you here. I've got something brand new for you today. Multi-streaming just got a ton easier because Adam, the company that I'm a part owner of, just released a brand new free OBS plugin called Multi-Stream that does... You could probably guess that by now. Plus it works perfectly with the Atom vertical plugin that's also free. So you can go live on Twitch, YouTube, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Facebook, whatever, all at the same time. So let's go over how easy it is to set up multi-streaming in OBS. So you can go live anywhere, in any shape, all at the same time. Before we get into the easy multi-streaming tool, can I tell you about one other free tool that's also the sponsor of today's video? It's Owned.Pro, and I wanna give them a huge thank you for making this video possible. Since you're gonna need overlays and alerts and widgets on your stream, go look at Owned.Pro. They've got some really cool tools that'll make your stream pop. Like, for example, this simple widget browsing tool that lets you search for little things to add to your stream to make it unique. You can also take any overlay that you find in their library and adjust the color to match your color scheme. So if you take this Alpha Gaming one right here, this absolute classic, but you want it to be red, just shift the slider a little bit, now it's red. They've also added some quality of life improvements to make it a little bit easier and simpler. Like for example, if you need to put your camera in between two layers of an overlay, they give you a foreground and a background layer that you can add separately to control like that. They put a lot into so many little things just to make life a little bit better for streamers which is what this video is all about. So I'm gonna put a link to own.pro in the description down below. Go check them out, go check out some overlays and go set up your alerts and widgets and all the things for your stream. Make it look pretty. Let's talk about multi-streaming. We're gonna to try to get this set up in five minutes. So start the timer. Let's go to atom.tv to download our OBS plugin. We're gonna scroll down, down here and download the multi-stream plugin. Let's go ahead and click this. And then while we're here, let's also download the vertical plugin, which was our first plugin we released a little bit ago and it's been downloaded over 600,000 times. Blows my mind. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let's download that. That's gonna help us multi-stream to Twitch Shorts or TikTok. Once we have them installed, let's relaunch OBS. And if you don't see multi-stream and vertical right when you open it up, just click on docs. You can see the multi-stream plugin here and all the vertical docs for the vertical plugin here as well. But this is it, this is what it looks like. Let's start over here, just to give it a little bit more space. There we go, that looks nice. That's too much space, but this is just for a visual. The first thing we need to do is set up our built-in stream. Now this is the main stream that our main OBS settings are set to. So I'm gonna log into my Twitch account here. And you can see now that I logged in with my Twitch account, that logo shows up right here. If you stream on Twitch, I recommend making that your built-in stream. It'll give you a couple more options and I'll tell you what they are once we set up all of our streams in here. Let's add a YouTube stream. We're gonna hit the settings button under multi-stream. We're gonna go to main canvas. Let's add an output. You can see all the different platforms that you can stream to here. Let's add YouTube. And we're gonna enter our stream key right here. You get that from your YouTube live dashboard, which it gives you a little link right here to go right to. Perfect, took me right there. I'm gonna copy this stream key right here. I'm gonna paste it in right here, hit create output, and then okay. And it pops up right there. And now all I have to do is click this if I wanna go live to Twitch and click this if I wanna go live to YouTube. And that's basically how this works. But let's set up vertical because some of the vertical platforms have some details you need to know. Now on this stream, I wanna to stream to both Twitch and YouTube in horizontal and then YouTube shorts and TikTok in vertical over here. If you're not familiar with how vertical works, it works the exact same way as the main canvas. So we have our scenes, we have our sources. Let me add, I think I can add a camera in here. Oh, like let's add our display capture and I can add my camera right here. Just ignore all the lines. And cool, this is what I wanna to stream to vertical while this is streaming to horizontal. So let's go back into our multi-stream settings, click vertical canvas and we're gonna add a vertical output. Let's start with YouTube. Now we're gonna need a new stream key here. So we're gonna need to create another vertical stream. We're gonna create a new one. We're gonna copy that stream key. We're gonna paste it in here, hit create output. And now we have a stream going to YouTube Shorts. Streaming both horizontally and vertically on YouTube is a little bit weird right now. It's two completely separate streams with two totally different chats. And because you only have one default stream key on YouTube, every time you also wanna stream on YouTube vertically, you have to go in and manually create a new stream and select that stream key. So it's a little convoluted right now. Hopefully they update that and make it a little easier in the future, but last one, Let's add TikTok. Now TikTok's a little bit stingy. They don't give out stream keys like they used to. They want you to use their TikTok studio app, which is super annoying. Let's 
download it. We added something cool into vertical to make it easier to stream to platforms like this. And it's the virtual output here. So if you turn on the virtual output, you can add a camera here, select OBS virtual camera here. And now your OBS vertical canvas is also your live streaming canvas. And now your OBS vertical canvas is also your TikTok vertical canvas. And here we go. TikTok stream is also set up. Easy peasy. And those are the four outputs that I'm gonna set up. It's important that you know though that each output that you add to it adds extra bandwidth to your internet because it is your computer sending the video to multiple places. So if you have four different destinations that you're sending your stream to and each one is six megabits per second, you're gonna need a total of 24 megabits per second upload speed with your internet to be able to do that. Keep that in mind. But now let's talk about why we did Twitch first. Cause you can see if you try to go live on YouTube without going live on your built-in stream, it's gonna give you a warning. The reason for that is in the settings here. If you go to your YouTube output and hit advanced setup, you'll see that it's using your main encoder or it's using the encoding from the built-in stream. Basically, multi-stream is taking this stream and then just sending it to other places. So if this stream's not running, it won't work. And it's really cool that it does that because it means your computer only has to render your stream once and then it just sends it to multiple places. It's not rendering a different stream for Twitch and then a different stream for YouTube. It keeps the processing power requirements low. But if you've got a beefy computer and you want to send one stream to Twitch and one stream to YouTube, you can actually change the encoder settings here. If you change both the video and the audio, it will let you go live without being live on your built-in stream. But the main reason we set up Twitch first is because Twitch has an extra setting called the VOD track here. One that the audience listens to while you're live and one that shows up in the VOD later. So if you wanna play music in the background of your stream and then you want the music to be gone in your VOD so it can't get muted, you would set that up. As of right now, since the plugin is brand new, we don't have that feature built into multi-stream. So if you wanna use a VOD track, just make sure you do Twitch first. We'll add it in later. We just don't have it yet, but the VOD track's a super great thing to do because even if you're using copyright free music like Streambeats, which is officially endorsed by Twitch, Twitch's audio recognition will misrecognize some of the songs as other copyrighted songs and will mute your VODs. It happens with all safe music over there. The system's not great, but that's it. We're done here. You can now multi-stream to multiple vertical and multiple horizontal sources at the same time. And vertical also has a lot more to it. Like for example, if something happens on stream that you want to upload to TikTok, you can actually click this button to retroactively record the past minute and then save it to a folder. So you just toss it on TikTok after your stream. I'll put that video up in the corner up here and also in the description below in case you want to see it. It's pretty awesome. How did I do on time, by the way? I'm pretty sure I blew it. I always do, but. Hit the like button anyway and leave your favorite emoji in the comments down below for engagement. I love you. Happy streaming. Did I say I love you twice? I don't know. Oh, that's cringe. Ugh.